listening to The Dr. No Show on whitradio.org. Hello, good morning. Uh, this is whitradio.org. My name is Nate, and we're going to be ta- broadcasting today on Earth Day. Um, the date is April 22nd, 2010. So, so today, um, uh, Frank is going to be ranting on sports being cut off. Um, Alex and AJ are going to be talking about sports overall. Mm. I'm going to be talking about health and unknown factors. Uh, we have a guest speaker today, Abdel. Abdel. Mm. Hi. And Brenda's going to be talking about rep- school, school food, o- Obama and the gay rights mm. thing and how universities banned iPads. Okay, so Frank, would you like to start us off? Okay, well, I well, like what you said, we're going to talk about how the sports being cut off. Um, first thing, I don't agree with the sports being cut off because a lot of people like, like to do sports, and I'm sure, I think two people here are in sports. I think Alex and Adrian are right. Yeah. Okay, so first off, if Push. our budget is tight, how come we can't yeah. just have people pay for Somebody, it sounds like somebody's playing with the mic off. Tapping one. What, if, this is, if this is going to happen, then some people are not going to get the physical activity they get out of sports. So the guys like that. Yeah, I think it's on right too because people, not all people, but people, sometimes people have smarts and sports. So in a case like that, it's not fair to take away just because other towns want their athletes, which is really the case. It's not really money that it's not right for them to do that because people here want to play sports too. Yeah. What do you what about what do you think about it, Arod? Um yeah, basically the same thing. Like I know there've been problems in the recent with sports. It's not really about people that it's not that we need money. It's just that the other towns want their kids back and that's <laughs> not Saco. Yeah. Cause it's not fair to us cuz we want to be here instead of over there, so yeah. yeah. There's a lot of budget cuts. They're cutting leap summer programs. Yeah, that that's really bad because. And they're cutting even the um, mediation after. Well, I don't know how to say it. Remediation. Remediation. There you go. Classes. Yeah, after school with teachers and students. Yeah, it that ends in like a week or two. Next week, it's yeah. over. Yeah, that's. I do not agree with that at all. Because we need that. Some people yeah. need that. And finals are coming up too. Like yeah, and sometimes you might not get a full lesson in, and the teacher asks you to stay after school, and now they can't because they don't yeah. get paid. Yeah. Well, if you're, ni- if you're a nice teacher, you'll stay after school regardless, if you care. Really nice. <laughs> yes. There's not that many of them, believe me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> they all need the money. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Alex and AJ, you want to move on to sports? No, actually, I'll start it off. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh. Well... The report says <laughs> school food is making kids unfit to serve, and um, it m- means that you're too fat to serve in the army. <laughs> so they're, um, <laughs> well, the group says 9 million young adults, and of, or 27% of all Americans ages 17 to 24 are too fat to join the military. The retired of- officers from Capitol Hill advocated for passage of wide-range nutrition bill that aims to make nation's school lunches lunches healthier. Our school lunch our school lunch isn't that healthy. No. No. Uh, Not really. Yeah, that might yeah, the pizza Chips. Uh, I've noticed is like soaked in grease. Yeah, yes. it's Michael. It's horrible. Like, I'd rather have no pizza you than use that. Actually, uh, tell her that the lunch lady, the one in charge. Well, I mean, yeah, they're not the pay ones for making it. it. They're actually, they are. They are. Well, is some it? of the things. Well, some of the things they come up in packages. Yeah, they're pre-made. Yeah. Just add water and milk. Well, I can't say it's bad. I like it. It's okay. I don't like the pieces. It's horrible. The first the couple th- days it was good. Yeah, the bad thing is that it's the same thing repeated, 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 repeated. Get sick yeah. of it. Like I'm, I'm only a freshman and I'm already sick of it, really. Yeah. Just keep talking, guys. Keep talking. Um. So let's go on to the next topic. Oh, University. Wait, 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 wait. I just what? wanted to point out a thing. Like I was doing research the other day mm-hmm. and I found out that 
Oh, it's about the army. Mm -hmm. I found out that um, uh, in the army now, they've changed a lot of regulations and rules that, like, um, since uh, there's a lot of war games recently now, I think you guys have noticed, Modern Call of Duty and all of that, mm -hmm. they, yeah. they've made the army, like, more, how do you say, they've made everything a lot more strict and more consistent because the, the recruits that are showing up there mm -hmm. think everything is like the game and like they're a lot softer and they <laughs> they're more they're they're weaker <coughs> than before so they're making the training a lot more difficult for them due to the games that are coming out yeah, because if you just go out to the military and then you're straight on the battlefield and you're just all weak and you think everything's a game that you're going to be scared crap you know, what are you supposed to do now yeah exactly so, Brenda, what were you gonna say? Some people think that like the video games are just like how it is in real life, but no. not even close. Some people think that if you play video games, you have good um, eye and hand yeah, combination. Like that. The best thing is yeah. people who play like racing video games and think they know how to drive a car. Like you, you definitely <laughs> don't. It actually helps. It helps a little bit, but I mean, like Guitar Hero helps. Re research has been made that proves that actually video games can give you the hand-eye coordination that improves your driving skills. That's awesome. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't. I don't think it does. Well, maybe it does for some people, Mr. Yeah. B. Do you play video games? Uh, n I haven't in about 20 years. There was video games 20 years <laughs> ago. I, I remember. <laughs> a what games did I you mean, play? I used to Pac-Man. Chess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As a while ago, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was way back. Way, way, way. <laughs> what um, system was it? Atari. Oh, oh my god, I have one. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Alright. All right, so <coughs> I also had a Sega system uh, maybe 15, oh 20 god. years ago. I had a Sega. Do you remember Sega? Sega? Yeah, I remember I had that. the first Sega. Dreamcast or normal Sega? So, Brenda, what were you going to say? I don't know, What's I have one of them though. Um, next topic is universities ban iPads. You know, the creative Apple has really done things like iPhone, iPod. Now it's iPads, and um, they're saying the problem stems not from the iPads' popularity, but to the way they connect to the wireless networks. Princeton University in New Jersey has blocked 20% of iPads on campus because a malfunction can affect your entire school computer system. So, do any of you guys own an iPad? No. Do you know why this is? I'm not. I'm not. A I was looking to get one until I like actually read about it, and nothing's nothing's really good about it except it's big. It's like a big iTouch. <laughs> <laughs> That's really all it is. Yeah, but you know the creators Apple make a lot of money. Exactly. From iPads. They it's could really they could publish thing. anything. They could publish an I C D and people would buy it. An iPhone. Actually, I house. You guys, you guys I it's, house. It's not just universities. Uh, the entire country of Israel blocked banned iPads from coming into the country. Why? <laughs> because uh, all right. Well, the iPad connection is sort of faster and more demanding than any other connection that uh, these universities or Israel has to offer. Uh, so for it to work, it's going at the expense of other people who are using computers that work at a slower pace than these iPads. So if someone in Israel were to use like an iPad, for example, for a person like, using a computer would be affected? On a public network, okay. If you have four computers on a public network and then an iPad comes in, it's the same as using two computers on a public network. It's very demanding, put yeah. it that way. Yeah, oh, so it's, uh, an iPad takes up like two computers. Yeah, fear like hypothetically speaking, yeah. All right, that so that could make it lag and all that. Well, all right, right so back. we'll be right back. On Yeah, we still have twenty-two seconds. Hey, right, you are listening to the Doctor No Show on whitradio.org. dot So we're back on whitradio.org. Uh, we were discussed just, iPads and iPods, yeah. and now we will discuss uh, sports. 
Uh, yeah. I'll start off yeah. with um, Yankees pitcher Phil Hughes got close to a no hitter yesterday as he threw a no hitter into the eighth, but he did fine up to the eighth, and a hard ground ball was hit by Eric Chavez right back at him, and it hit his forearm. It was he looked straight up into the air, but it actually fell right in front of him. So it was a it was a pretty easy play off the glove, but yeah. So now they're gonna check for his form for if he's good or not. But it was actually a real good performance. He threw 108 pitches. That's his career high, and the Yankees are looking good right now. Yeah, they have a five game win streak also, yeah. and I don't know if they won yesterday. That could be their sixth. Yeah, they did. So yeah, six games in a row. And on football news, the New York Jets, a local team around here. They've improved their ro- they've improved their roster so much it's unbelievable with defensive ends, running backs in Lindanian Tomlinson, um, defense with um, Taylor. I mean, they're going to be one team to look at this year. And also Ben Rossensberger, the quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. As you know, his sexual allegations against the girl in Georgia, the court denied it for lacking evidence. But now the NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell, has suspended him six games because of the... It, he broke... He broke um, I don't know what it's called exactly. Do you know, A-Rod? Right. No. Well, um, it's not really that um, he's getting suspended for being arrested or nothing. This is actually Goodell's first suspension without him be actually being arrested. So, yeah. It stinks, though, because they did sign, though, Byron Lefwich, who was a good quarterback for the Jaguars maybe five years ago he's pretty old now but I think they're going to throw him for the first six games because it's horrible to start a season off at, with a bad record I also heard um, Tim Tebow might be going to the Jacksonville Jaguars but he's not going to attend the draft so. no, what do you mean by not attend the draft like like you know how in the draft you always see the pictures <coughs> of the guy of like the first round always holding up the jerseys but yeah. the team, he, he's not going to be there is there any reason um, not that I know of. Because it's stupid if you're going to go, if you're going to want to be drafted and you're not going to go. Yeah. It's one of the, probably the best moment of your life. I'm sorry to interrupt. What's the draft? Um, The NFL draft where the college players get drafted into the NFL. Ah. Uh, wait, randomly or? No, no, no. By, like, the last, the worst team of 2009 season will have the first pick of this year's draft. Oh. Okay. And it continues like that. Second worst has the second pick. And like that, and the Super Bowl champion will have the last pick in the draft, unless there's trades done to get higher up in there. Yeah, you could trade, let's say, one of your players for a first round draft pick. So a lot of trades happen like that. Like so we'll that trade you two players, but give us two picks. Wait, so that's how uh, college players get into the NFL? Yeah, through that's a how draft. Every NFL player got. That's it. An- yeah, every that single. Every it's single. Annual. Baseball, yeah, basketball. It's annual. It's annual. Yeah. Wow. Every year. And it's a big thing for most people. Like, I know I went to about two years ago in Gi- in Giant Stadium. They have on draft day. They have a whole like, it's like a whole practically a big party, and everyone sits on the field, watches the draft, and there's all little games, kind of like here in Earth Day. But you kick field goals and you throw football. You go see the locker rooms. It's pretty cool. Uh, so is it is there any ceremonial process that they go through, or they just pick out, you know, like they just announce who's drafted? To yeah, they just really announce. Oh. They give each team about three minutes per draft pick. S- I think it starts tonight, actually, at 7 p.m. Oh. And each team will have three minutes. They're on the clock, and then you choose the player that you want. Like, no matter how, like, <coughs> it matters how you want. Like, sometimes quarter- teams need a quarterback, so they'll go for the best quarterback in the draft. Other teams well, need a running back. Do the people who are drafted pick what team they want to? No. They don't have any preference at all? Not at all. Oh. Some players do, though, which is, it's kind of unheard of, but they sign before. Yeah, they'll verbally. The draft. They'll verbally commit to, like, I know, oh, who was his name? I think Jimmy Clausen verbally committed to the to the St. Louis Rams. Is that is that a legal process, or is it under the table, sort of? Mm, it's hard to, I don't know, really, but I think it's more under the table than legal. Yeah. I mean, is, do they say, I verbally committed to? Yeah. Or, oh, okay. But, what happens if the team before them now picks yeah, him? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. So mostly, but most likely teams lay off. Like, la- they'll lay off of that guy because they do it too. So, but if they do choose him, they'll trade. That's what they do sometimes. They want to get better players, so they'll trade because they know how much you want him. Yeah. So they'll trade for him. And so, tra- trade so basically the, the worst teams get to pick the best players in their eyes. Yeah. Oh, all right. So Which is fair. How many <laughs> so, yeah, people do they even. get to pick? Well, each draft round, there's 32 football teams. 
and each team has like I think about five rounds. Is it? I think it actually goes a little higher. Well, that, that's really the, the only. The five, yeah, five rounds are the ones publicized on TV. You could see them because mm -hmm. those are like really the best players. It's nine and rounds then, altogether. Oh, nine rounds. Okay, yeah. So, nine rounds, and then the first five are publicized though. Wait, it's but then what little, happens to the current players on that team? Let's say I pick a, a quarterback and I have a quarterback on my team. Where does he go? No, he stays on the team. You just have to battle out for that position. <coughs> oh, so it's the best player gets to play more, basically. Yeah, it's a little different format this year. I don't know. Uh, there's g just going to have the first round today. Each team has ten minutes to pick. Then oh, tomorrow, ten? yeah, ten minutes today, and then tomorrow they'll have the second and third round, uh, where they have five minutes to pick. And then the day after that, they'll have rounds four, five, and six, or whatever, and the teams only have maybe a minute or two to pick. And then the other rounds will happen after that. What this allows, though, for this year, for the first time, is you're going to see a lot more trades because the teams have a lot more days to figure out where they are and what's happening. And uh, I even heard today that Ben Rosslerberger may be uh, traded. Yeah, uh, for a top ten pick, if they if the Steelers can get him. Yeah, they've offered him to a lot of teams. Wait, but then why why do the teams need time if they can already beforehand have a list of who we want and who we don't want? Uh, because you, it's nothing set in stone; it's fluid, and uh, you never know who's going to pick who. And uh, say you wanted a guy, say the Giants. What I read, the Giants want this guy, Rolando McLean, in their fifteenth pick. Uh, he's a linebacker. Yeah. They they want to get him, but what happens if the team that picks tenth picks him ahead of them? Then the Giants have to scramble, and then their their game plan has to go to game plan B, yeah. and game maybe game plan C because maybe the guy they want for game plan B is picked the thirteenth. Yeah. yeah. So it's fluid. You never know who's going to be available. Yeah, I hear you. But does every college student, every college player, sorry, it qualify to get picked, or is there a criteria that you apply or? Well, you got to be good. I mean, the coaches and the, the coaching staff have to think that you can help their team. I mean, there's a lot of college players that won't be picked. They'll become free agents, or they just won't play pro football. Oh, all right. I hear you. Makes and sense. In baseball news, Carlos Zambrano, which is the Chicago Cubs ace, is now going to the bullpen for them. Well, there are two, actually two reasons for it. One is he's not doing well. His ERA is 745 right now, and he's one in tune. And their bullpen needs an eighth inning man, which is just basically – a guy that sets up for the closer. So he talked with Luke, their coach, Lou Pinella, and Lou Pinella said he's being um, very mature with this. And although Zambrano, he doesn't want to be um, a relief pitcher. He said he's not doing good and the team's not doing good. So he just wants to do his best for the team. And that's good because he's showing signs of maturity because before he wasn't too mature with it. So. And he's one of the best, actually, National League hitters in baseball, too. So. They want to keep him as a starter, though, hopefully. Okay, so we'll be right back on WHIT Radio. Oh, we talked about the draft. And Hi, I'm up Joanne next, Woodward. About... Ever notice how many things in life happen in a circle? The seasons, revolving credit, hula hoops, the spinning of the circle we call Earth, and recycling. Together, we've already made a difference. Sorting glass, plastic, separating cans, stacking newspapers. Now there are lots of products made from things we've already recycled. A paperclip, in a more daring life, a 56 convertible, a cereal box, once your Sunday paper. It all goes back to the circle. It starts when we recycle trash at home and at work. It's completed when we buy products made from recycled materials. How do you know the difference? Check the label for something called post-consumer recycled content. You should call us. So we're back on WHIT Radio. And so Al Alex and AJ just finished. We have a, we have a call. Uh, we have a caller. Caller. Hello. There seems to be some technical difficulties. Uh, we'll continue on with our discussion until we get this working. Uh, so okay. Nate. So Alex and AJ just finished talking about sports, and I just wanted to. Uh, I found an article yesterday made by a doctor located in Brazil. He manages the, a hospital there in Brazil. And what I found was like a type of comedic version of health <coughs> nowadays. It's kind of like the... 
it's kind of like the perfect um, a diet plan, kind of like for an obese person that's very lazy and whatnot. Is somebody calling or not? Someone's no. calling. I just dropped the call. Oh. So, like, I, f I don't know. It's pretty funny. Like, I found it says, do cardiovascular exercises prolong life? Somebody's calling. Hello? 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 You're only supposed right, to click um, it once. I don't know why you double click. Hello? Um, well, no, no, no. Hello? Hello? Jenner? Hello, you're on whitradio.org. Hello? You're their caller. One, two. Yeah, we hear your voice. Hello? Your opinion on Earth Day? My opinion on Earth Day? So, guys, share your opinions on Earth Day. Um, I think it's a fun day. We can't hear you. You can't hear me? Hello? Earth Day can. What? <laughs> 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 Yeah, I always knew. You, sh you should call back again. Bye. So. <laughs> Drop. Okay, hi. Bye. <laughs> How do you know you were supposed to Okay, so as I was saying, uh, it's kind of like a Q&A, and it says, do cardiovascular exercises prolong life? And the doctor says that the heart is made to beat a certain number of times. So if you exercise, that's just going to take up a bunch of beats. So you're kind of shortening your life. So the best thing you could do to live longer is take a nap. <laughs> yeah, I heard the more you sleep, the more you grow. So Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah you, s you grow in your sleep. So yeah. are you trying to say that fat people are going to live longer? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> not like that. I think you just have to and eat healthy and sleep a lot. Yeah, and then this one says, um, should I stop eating red meat, which is kind of a cow, cow, and eat more fruits and vegetables? No. And and you he said, and he says, you need to understand the logistics of a feeding efficiency. What do cows eat? Oh, there's a call. Hello. Hello. Yes, who's yes. this? I'm sorry to say that our call's not getting through. There's something wrong with your lines. Oh, we can hear you now, clearly. We can hear you now. I, all I hear is like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, just, just try you, to talk. Can you hear us? Can you hear us through the alien noise? Mr. Come on, baby. P, fix the phone. <laughs> all right. I'm trying, <laughs> to, I'm trying to. So, Jennifer, <laughs> just <laughs> talk. <laughs> just ignore oh, the. What's your opinion on Earth Day? I think it's fun. Yeah, it's been a fun day so far. It's fun to recycle. Yeah, we're actually doing a lot of good stuff with all them, with all the yeah. cans really? and all the recyclables. Wow, yeah. I don't know. I, I like the way Miss Willem set up the whole resource yeah. center <laughs> and the classroom and yeah. whatnot. Did anybody go into that planetarium yet? No. No, no we didn't. <laughs> what did you do? You're very energetic. Uh-uh, I'm just walking around. Anyways, uh, what's so your opinion on Earth Day? You we, asked we us gave that already. Us that. Do you have? Do I you couldn't hear it. It's on my phone. Mr. P doesn't fix his phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fixed there. It's fine now. Oh, I think we have another call. Somebody That's more Madison. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye, Jen. Hi, big fan. Hello. 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 Anybody else Hello? on the line? Yeah. Uh, Hello. Who's this? Hello. Okay. Mm, what a great caller. Hello. Drop. <laughs> okay. 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 So as I was saying, it says, um, you need to understand the logistics of a feeding efficiency. And what do cows eat? Grass. Grass, Grass and like maize and all that stuff. Corn. And so, mm -hmm. Yeah. And so what is that? Vegetables. Exactly. So a steak is the most effective way to put vegetables into your system. So if you want to eat cereal, then you should eat chicken. This doctor's a little special. Yeah. Well, actually, I looked. I looked Very him creative. up. Like I researched him. He it, he is a doctor, but a, ma a he's a math doctor. Oh, like Mr. He, Diaz. He has a PhD in math, so Ow. it's not in health or anything. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Yeah. And the next question says, should I reduce the consum my consumption of alcohol? And he says, no way, because wine is made from fruit, and brandy is distilled wine, which means it removes the water from the fruit. So <coughs> you get more fruit out of brandy. So, and he also says that beer is made out of cereal, kind of like with wheat and all well, that. Oh, you add alcohol into it, and that's actually yeah. what. But yeah, if you take the alcohol away, beer is actually yeah just I pure barley. Is pure it is. It is. But beer tastes nasty. Yeah, it, it does. does. Okay. Wait, how do we know? We're all fourteen. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and he says now are fried foods harmful? And he says nowadays food food is fried in vegetable oil. So the truth is that they're impregnated with vegetable oil. So how can it be that more vegetables added to a food is harmful to you? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Haha. He does have a point, but it's actually <laughs> a stupid point. Yeah. Yeah. That. He's just trying to point out the way that uh, most people see the health world nowadays and how... And if somebody sees the health world like that, I think they have problems. Like most people do, though. You're going to have like, a long life. Like it says, does the gym help reduce obesity? And he says, absolutely not. Exercising a muscle, all it does is to increase muscle size. Yes. Yes, it does. Muscle yeah. weighs more than fat. It reduces fat. And he's, the last question says, do you have any more advice you can give us? He says, if you go out for a walk every day and that makes you healthy, then postmen would be immortal. The whales spend th the day swimming, eating only fish, and only drink water, but they're fat. And, and rabbits jump and they don't sleep and they don't stop, but they don't live longer than 15 years. Yet turtles do not run, they don't do anything, and they live 450 years. Wow. That's so. crazy. It's like I have a 450 year old turtle at home. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, we're going to pass this down to my son. <laughs> <laughs> and my son's son, son, son. Yeah. Yeah. So I see on the rundown sheet that, Brenda, you have something else with Obama clashes with gay right hecklers in yep. Los Angeles. Yeah. You want to talk about that? President Obama is used to hearing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> President Obama is used to hearing his name yelled angrily at at right, tea, tea party protests. I'll see you, uh, uh, I'll see you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go on. Yeah, Mr. P, whenever you're done. Mm -hmm. So, and yes, the helpers were attacking the president from left. <laughs> so, like. Yeah, I don't Almost think done. we're gonna have time to discuss so, this. We'll talk about this next show. Um, have a happy Earth Day, everybody. Yeah. Yep. So this is us, Brenda, Brenda, AJ, Alex, Frank, and me, <laughs> Nate, and, and we're cutting out from whitradio.org. See you sure later, to, guys. Sure to tune in next week for the other group that's gonna be coming. Okay. Or you, or you don't have to. Oh my tickets! Oh my god! So my